Hi Scorpio, my name is Cam. Welcome to my channel. So today for your meditative session, what I got was electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. Um, it's number 24, which can be a six. For me, six is, you know, the number of love. So this could be something in the realms of love, something in the realms of emotion. Blue could also be like speaking your truth. I like, you know, the throat chakra. What I'm just getting from this card is I've been getting a very similar energy with all the signs where I'm seeing like this kind of, I want to say orb around everyone. And it's like three readings so far where there's an orb behind like a significant character in the reading. And I think what it means is like we're all stepping onto this kind of new energy, this new like vibe, like I want to say vibration. And because we're elevating in vibration, it's kind of like everyone who's raising their vibration and, and trying to step into this new vibration, uh, like we're all going to be at the same level. And like at this level, it's kind of giving you a lot of energy and a lot of motivation to create something that you kind of maybe have always wanted, like something that you've always wanted to do. It could be like in the realms of creating like something like a creative project it could be in the realms of speaking it could be in the realms of relationship but there's just something new that you've only had in your head and you would like to kind of make real uh so this is what i got for your intuitive <laughs> your meditative session scorpio let's get into the reading Scorpio is that something has come around full circle for you I keep getting again like this portal energy this this kind of like stepping off point this point where everyone is kind of going through I feel like all signs this week there's this like deep energy like do you see how like the energy is kind of flowing out of her and I think that's because you have walked through the portal remember like eel spirit there was kind of like this and it's not even a portal it's just it's like an amount of energy that you're you're able to be at that elevated point of energy so you vibing at such a high vibration is creating a lot i want to say it's not even doors it's just a lot of things that are going to be new in your life a lot of things that you're going to be seeing that you didn't see before and it's all because that you have kind of made it to this level of energy and here again, like I'm just seeing like the ring of energy around you. Like this is gonna be like a very powerful week where if you wanna like create something again with the electric eel spirit, if there's something that you wanna create, the energy is just like moving through you. It could also be spirit. It's just all the hard work that you've put into something, which is obviously like yourself and trying to be at such a high level. I think it's working because I see that portal. I see that energy it's just flowing through you. It could be divine. It could be, I mean, it is divine. Of course it's divine, but it's like, it's like you've also put in work too. Like things don't only work one way. It's yes, you, the divine can literally pick you off the floor and put you like upright, but you have to take those steps yourself. You know what I mean? You have to put some of the work in yourself. And it's like both of you are creating hand in hand this like brand new thing and it's just so beautiful and i'm getting like a masculine and feminine energy um it doesn't have to be but i just feel like it is two people because when i was seeing electric eel spirit it, i mean i've been getting a lot of like pair energy a lot of um like kind of like romantic uh like masculine masculine feminine energies and i'm getting in this one like with the same kind of vibe but it's like two people of two very different 
two very different people, but with the vibing in the same exact energy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you're both at this exact energy point. You're both receiving the same kind of energy because you're both like at that same vibe. And I think once when two people are at the same vibe, that's when they're able to see each other. Like you're not gonna meet, like this person won't see this person until they're matching energy. They'll just be like this and they'll just miss each other. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to be at the same exact point so that you can meet each other. Uh, this could be like a new person that you're meeting. I don't know which one you are. You could be the queen of water or the king of fire. For some reason, I just feel like you're the queen of water because we are talking about Scorpio. But it's like both of you are 100% in your element and you're both, you have very different elements, but you're at the same vibration and that's what's going to make this like completely possible. And it's again, it's like two beautiful energies too, but just two very different energies. I want to say like mystic. There's something like, I kept hearing the word mystic. I think there's... I don't know if that's like the energy that you're in, but like every time, like I, when I raised your card, when I thought of you, it's like mystical. Like there's something about this week and like the timing and maybe it's like the time you might meet someone. I don't know. I don't like to put timing on anything, but it's just definitely something. There's just an energetic level that both of you guys have arrived at so that you can both have this encounter or have this re-meeting. And I don't know, like it's what resonates to you, but like this, I feel like this is the king of fire and his energy. And I feel like when I saw, this is reminding me of the Aries reading, so you might have Aries in your chart, but in the Aries reading, like you see the divine is there, like the, like the Trinity, there's three. Uh, the duality between you is equal and like there's a new beginning for you with the white. And I just feel like, again, like there's something that has been like, like you're receiving. Do you see like her hands are open and there's like light? you're receiving this person is receiving but the way you receive things is in a different way this like this could be like a fire energy who i don't know like he could have air in his chart and then you could be like a water energy who's earth in your chart i'm just seeing like the ways the ways that you have come to this point and how this point makes you feel is like two different two different energies but still the same vibration and the beautiful thing about what I was going to say that like matches the Aries reading was that for Aries to reach the top of, there's like this pyramid and for Aries to re reach the top, which is self, which is like self-actualization, self-realization, like what is my potential? What is it that I actually want to do? You know, to reach that high level, you have to kind of have your basic needs met. You have to have your emotional needs met. So it's like basic needs, psychological needs, and then you can actually self-actualize. So it's not like an easy process. It's not something that's... It obviously takes a lot of time. I keep hearing like, it just takes a lot of time. <laughs> and I feel like this person has finally made it there. And you're right there like beside this person, but totally like different energy. It's a totally different element, same energy. Yeah, I, I feel like two, you both are like stepping onto this path. It could be together, but it's, it's a path that, I don't know, I just want to say this path is going to be a lot, and like so much easier for both of you. This path is going to be something that I feel like whereas the old path was a path where you kind of received with the four of pentacles in reverse, I just see like you received a lot of blockages, you received, it was like hard, it was a very hard cycle, it was a lot of like everything I feel like in this old cycle came hard. <laughs> I just want to say like everything in the old cycle came very hard uh like if it was if it was something that made you sad it was like a travesty <laughs> if it was something that made you angry it was it wasn't an anger that like lasted an hour it was something that like you were mad at for days like everything in this cycle was very i, I don't want to keep saying hard but it was just very like intensely met it wasn't like met with like a stop sign every single time like every every kind of move led to another stop sign whereas this one is like there's just going to be a flow of energy and i think it has a lot to do with the way that you've shifted your energy uh like the way that you've changed your mind about a lot of things it like starts within right and i feel like both of these people are also not like working in ego anymore and again there's something like this has taken a long time but it's like all worth it because this person is like fully aligned this could also be like a message to rest but i feel like 
it's more a message of no more working in ego, no more working in negative energy, like no more of this old cycle and just the beginning of this like brand new cycle for you guys. So I really like this reading, Scorpio. Let's see what advice we can pull for you. I already got the electric ill spirit. Let's see if there's any divine comments. seeing with these two cards you've got Khadija the mother of believers I'm spiritually and financially abundant I provide heaven and earth for myself and you got Thecla the prophetess of true power I call my power back from all times and all places I am my own I'm getting like a mixed energy how do I explain this I'm getting like in the old cycle there may have been times where you were not spiritually or financially abundant and that's like the new thing in this new cycle. It's like you will be financially secure. And I think it has, it's like all started with you becoming spiritually secure, if that makes sense. Like you had to have some sort of faith and not only faith in like another power, but faith in yourself so that you could provide for yourself. So where in the old cycle you were kind of met with blocks spiritually and financially. Remember I kept saying there was like blocks in the old cycle. It's like the new cycle this new like energy that's around you it's you know like they both have it and it's, it's different again and this could be like the two energies that these two people are in where you know it's like two separate energies two like different types of halos but the same like vibration and what i'm getting with thecla uh she i think she almost got eaten and like someone tried to kill her like she almost got killed like three or four times and she was able to call on the divine and they were able to save her or like just miraculous things would happen and she would be saved i think one of the examples is like she's put into an arena with tigers and they just like kneel to her um and that's what i'm getting with this new cycle it's kind of something that maybe it might not make a lot of sense the way that things are gonna come like around for you and it may not be like the plan that you had for yourself but it's def like you're definitely going to walk through it because of the energy that you like are in right now. So my message would be to kind of remain in this high vibe. I don't feel like you can again like fall into the ego or like the shadow aspect of yourself. But just be weary like to have and receive all these things. You kind of have to stay in this vibe. And I don't, I don't it's not even a warning because I don't think that you can kind of go back to that vibe. I think it's just like for you to know that you won't go back. Like it's like maybe you're doubting yourself and I'm here to tell you that you'll never kind of go back into that energy again. So that's not something you have to worry about. Just kind of don't expect it to look like what you thought it would and things will go a lot smoother and that's what i got for you scorpio i hope that you enjoyed this reading and that i hope and i hope that it helped you guys somehow uh see you guys next week i love you bye